everybody, Hooded Cobra Commander 788 here, and this is a quick look at the 1989 G.I. Joe Gatling Gunner Rock and Roll. This is version 2 of Rock and Roll. Uh, and I've had this for a while, and I've wanted to look at it for a while. Uh, so this isn't the full review, this is just a quick look at them. Uh, I was a fan of Rock and Roll as a kid, and so I was really excited to get this figure. This was uh, essentially the last G.I. Joe figure that I ever got as a kid, and I, I was really out of G.I. Joe at the time. Uh, but I got Rock and Roll version 2 really for nostalgic purposes. Uh, now, Rock and Roll came with a lot of accessories. He came with two really large Gatling guns, um, and each of those have uh, ammunition belts that connect to the backpack. And of course, he has the backpack there. He also came with this um, rifle uh, that connected to his leg by a couple pegs there. We have looked at that before because uh, the Night Viper had a similar rifle that connected that way. Uh, so we have seen that before, uh, but uh, of course we haven't reviewed Rock and Roll yet. Um, now, uh, I did want to say something about this figure. Um, since this figure was the last G.I. Joe figure that I got as a kid, this will be the last figure that I ever review on this channel, the last G.I. Joe figure review. I had, did recently announce that uh, once I finish reviewing every vintage G.I. Joe toy, then uh, that's all that I'm doing. Uh, as far as G.I. Joe toy reviews. I'm done after that with G.I. Joe reviews. So uh, going along with that announcement, I also wanted to let you know which one would be the last one. Uh, the first video on this channel was Breaker, and Breaker was my first G.I. Joe action figure when I was a kid. The first one I ever got, so that was uh, an appropriate first video for this channel. So the, the appropriate bookend would be rock and roll. The last video will be my last G.I. Joe figure, this one. And it's going to be an exciting one to look at, but uh, also a bit bittersweet because um, that means that we're done with G.I. Joe and we've already looked at everything else. So uh, for now, at least, that's a quick look at Rock and Roll version 2. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I've got another vintage G.I. Joe toy review, a full review coming up soon, so uh, look out for that. Thanks for watching, and I will see you all next time.